Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through customizing the other info box, which is part of the person view in the Master Genealogist. And the other info box is this box right here. And by default, it shows um, the reference number, the number of children, and a sound X. And if you want to scroll down and see the other fields that are listed in there, you can use this little scroll bar here. And so you can also see the tag count, the age of the person, in this case, um, when the person, oh, the age when this person was deceased, and the date that they were, that this record was last edited. Now, for my liking, I prefer to have other fields displayed first in here in this view that when it's primarily available, right, without having to scroll down. So in this case, for instance, the number of children is not important to be displayed to me immediately because I can just look over at the children at the children pane over here in this window and see that there are three children. Um, and the sound X, that may be important to you. It may uh, other things in here may be more important. Um, the things that I would like to see in here is I would like to see underneath the reference count. I'd like to see the age and the last edited. So let me show you how to do that. So if you if you right click inside this other info box, you'll get up a context sensitive menu. And right here, second from the last, is this, an option that says customize the other info box. If you click that one time, then you'll get a little window here. And you can enable or disable any of these fields. Say you don't want the sound decks to show up anymore, you can just click the disable and it won't be there anymore. And if you want to put it back, you just click the enable button. So this little check mark next to these tells you whether it's enabled or not. So changing the order of these is simply a matter of selecting the one that you want to move either up or down. So in this case, I'm going to move the last edited field up. So I've got that selected by clicking on it once and I can just click this move up button as many times as I want until it's where I want it to be. So I'm going to put it right after the reference field and then this age field I'm going to move up to be under last edited. And let's put the sound X underneath that. So it'll be the next it'll be the next thing after age if you scroll down. And then the number of children and the number of tags are the last things in there. And so if we press this OK button here one time you'll see that this other info box changes and the reference field is displayed and then the date this record was last edited and the age are displayed right within this window. No need to scroll down to see them. And if you do want to see one of those other things, you can still scroll down and see them.